Despite it being a foreign word, I'm sure nearly everyone has heard of a sultan, possibly from school or movies such as Aladdin. But do you really know what a sultan or a sultan it is? Well stick around because in this video we're going to look at just that. A sultanate is simply the dynasty and lands ruled by a sultan. And a sultan is a noble title with several historical meanings. We tend to think that the word means emperor, but that's not necessarily the case. Originally, it was an Arabic word meaning strength, authority or rulership, which likely came from an Aramaic word, also meaning strength and authority. Because of the word's meaning, it came to be used as a title of certain rulers who claimed almost full sovereignty with a lack of dependence on any higher ruler. But note that I said almost full sovereignty. This is because the word Sultan became linked to Islam and the Caliphate. Sultans then were generally rulers who recognised the authority of the Caliphate or were a powerful governor within a province of a Caliphate. Due to this, modern hereditary rulers who want to emphasise their secular authority under the rule of their nation's laws have gradually replaced the term with King. This is not the only way the word Sultan is used. In a number of post-Caliphate states under Mongol or Turkic rule, there was a feudal type of military hierarchy and these militaries were often arranged by number, using titles which were originally princely titles, such as Khan, Malik and Amer as ranks. And certain nations, such as the Persian Empire, used the rank of Sultan, which was roughly equivalent to that of a modern day army captain. The word Sultana is actually not just the name of a great, it's also the female form of Sultan. But interestingly, the Ottoman Turks also used Sultan for imperial lady because Turkish grammar uses the same words for women as with men. Western tradition knows the Ottoman ruler as Sultan, but the Ottomans themselves used Emperor to refer to their ruler. The reason for this belief in the West is that the Emperor was sometimes also called a Sultan because the Emperor had a formal title consisting of Sultan together with Khan. For example, Sultan Suleiman Khan. In formal addresses, the Emperor's children were also entitled Sultan, with Imperial Princes carrying the title before their given name and Imperial Princesses carrying it after. In the past, there were tons of Sultanates. Just check the list on Wikipedia. But I'm sure at this point you're wondering if there are any modern day Sultanates. Well, the term has largely died away, but there's still actually quite a few. Oman is still a Sultanate, Brunei is a Sultanate, Indonesia has a Sultan who's a governor over one of its provinces, and in Malaysia, Sultan is the title of seven of the nine rulers of the Malay states, and the federal head of state is elected for five years by and among the hereditary state rulers and is usually styled as king in foreign countries. Sultans still do exist in some other forms, and in some parts of the Middle East and North Africa, there still exist regional sultans or people who are descendants of sultans who are styled as such. So, to conclude, Sultan basically means ruler, the word means strength or authority, the female form of the word is Sultana, and there's still a number of Sultans in the Middle East and Southeast Asia. Thanks for watching everyone, please stay tuned for more videos coming soon. If you liked this video, maybe you'd enjoy our video on the Caliphate, or maybe you'd enjoy our video on the Emir. If you haven't seen it, you should check out our Watson Word series, which is currently going through the names of various countries. Thanks again for watching.